Okay, just so y'all know, if this falls apart on your quad when you take it apart, do not lose these needles. There's 23 of these. This is probably the only video on the internet you're ever going to find on how to do this if this happens to you. Okay, this one, this is the one here that the needles actually damaged. That one will go in last. As you can see, they're all installed, and what you want to do is you just want to turn them and make sure they're all in the races. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back... And I'm going to grease these. these. These nitro gloves are hard to find, so I bought a box up there when I had to get some for work. We were just going to put our bolt in and leave this puppy until it's ready to be installed. Okay, so... Okay. So basically, I'm trying to clean up hard drive space, so what I'm going to do is, when I took the rear end of this ATV apart, there was one needle bearing that I have no idea what the heck happened to it. All the needles fell out of it. I, I don't know if it was because it was locked up, it was rusted, and nothing was moving, or it may not have been installed properly. I'm not 100% sure, but... If you take your rear end apart and your A-arm does this, you can put it back together. I kind of advise replacing these needle bearings, but these needle bearings, if you put the bolt in it and it's not locked up again, it you should be okay until you disassemble it again. But we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and put the needle bearings back in this, and then I'm going to grease this, and then I'm going to put the bolt through this. Otherwise, I think they were, I got online, I didn't go to the Polaris store, the, those people up there, I mean, if you don't buy nothing new up there at Polaris, they, they don't even want to deal with you, so those people go up there, some of them people, they think it's cool to, uh, not talk of trash or nothing, but I am a little bit, they think it's cool that they, they go down to the motorcycle school and go get a piece of paper and and you know go down there for eight nine months and all of a sudden they got a piece of paper and think that they know everything those people the where i'm at personally the, a lot of them people don't know jack shit about any of this stuff and uh it's real apparent once you start talking to them so you know i just don't do business with them anymore you can get everything online so i know what i'm doing and uh up there at the player shop those people are idiots and i'm not dealing with them anymore so uh, we'll go ahead and put this needle bearing together. Okay, just so y'all know, if this falls apart on your quad when you take it apart, do not lose these needles. There's 23 of these. This is probably the only video on the internet you're ever going to find on how to do this if this happens to you. And after we get these needles back reinstalled, I'm going to grease them, and then we're going to go ahead and put our bolt in to hold them, hold them flush. So... Um, well, I'll go ahead and get this set up. This is going to kind of be difficult to do. And you need to make sure on these needles that you might find that one is damaged um, on the end of the little tips. And if there isn't one damaged, then I'm not sure what happened. Maybe those got replaced and they weren't installed properly. I'm not real sure, but um, I put the other one on the quad and it seems like it's not going to come apart. So we'll just put this one back together. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to put our needle bearings in here, and when we put, when we put our needle bearings in, we're going to go ahead and slide it in, and it's going to have to go in sideways, and then once it gets into the races, you'll have to straighten it out and get it in the races so the needle bearing is straight. And then we're just going to go in one by one here and put them all in. And there's 23 of them. So this may take you a little bit of time to do this. It doesn't help that... Um, this screwdriver has been magnetized and it's trying to pull the needles out. And we're just going to 
push them up to the left as we put each one of them in. Like so. See, that one came out. Well, this is the best lighting I could do. So, I tried to mess around here. I can't get no better lighting. So, we'll just continue here. We're almost done. This will take you a little bit of time if you've never done this before. And once we start getting more in here, we're just going to take, go to the center of them and just roll them up. A lot of times these will seize because of lack of maintenance, as you can see with this quad, where nothing was greased, lubricated. Some of this stuff has just been neglected. And what's happening now is people are picking these four-wheelers up because they're 2021 this is a 2007 this thing's 14 years old and these things are starting to drop in price because everything is wore out on them do not pay full price for a quad if you are not going to the dealership and don't let the, them tell you that oh the market these things are worth more than what they blue book for well i hate to tell you this but they're not blue book is basically the price they're the difference between a private party and the dealership is that the dealership fully services everything that comes in well they should this one wasn't um but you can expect to pay more at a dealership and when people get on nada and they get on kelly's blue book they think that their vehicles are worth that price and they're not so we're just going to continue here This really, I overpaid for this because I wanted this for a special project because of the KTM engine. There wasn't one around here at the time. This four-wheeler should have been about a $1,500 four-wheeler. It was a $2,000 four-wheeler uh, in Oregon. When my guys from California went out there to pick it up, the thing didn't even start. Uh, they knocked 200 bucks off the price, had to pay $400 to ship it. We're now at 2200 I think the Blue Book's around 35 so I'm already up, but I'm having to fully maintenance this thing. So you really need to know what you're buying. And if, if, if you're not a real handy person, let me give you some advice. Buy a new one if you can afford it. And put the warranty on it so you don't have to work on it. This, uh, this ATV with all the maintenance on this, a normal person would not be able to do this work. And that's okay if you can't do the work. People are good, are, have different skills, or are better at different things. You know, I'm not good working in a environment with a bunch of people there that that want to talk to each other and dress up every day. You know, that that environment is for some other people. That I'm not good at that. So okay, this magnetic screwdriver is kind of screwing me here. Look at that, it's pulling all the, the needles out. Okay, this, one, this is the one here that the needles actually damaged. That one will go in last. Because I put it in the race there and it fell out. It should just be to the last two. switch screwdrivers guys and gals there's a lot of women subscribe but 
I think the majority of the women subscribe to her. Watching my uh, vacuum videos. should be the last one here and I'm probably going to have to force this one down in there last one. Let's try this again. I just took the buffer to it and took a little bit of the needle off. There we go. Hope that wasn't a mistake. The other one that I already put together, it it did it was damaged. One of them had the whole needle, the edge of the needle broken off. So we just need to get this in there. have them all installed and then you just want to run them and make sure none of them are going to fall out and that they're all in the races. So as you can see they are all As you can see they're all installed and what you want to do is you just want to turn them and make sure they're all in the races and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to grease these so they don't freeze up again. I actually found some gloves uh, at the distributor, our paper towel distributor for the company that I work for. They finally got a load of gloves in. These, these nitrile gloves are hard to find, so I bought a box up there when I had to get some for work. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work that grease into the needle bearings. So 
so this this doesn't this will not happen again. Then I'm just going to pack the back end of this with grease, like so. And we're going to go ahead and put our insert in there. And we're going to grease it as well. I should have put two gloves on. That's all right. It's going to make a mess. If you need grease or you're going to grease anything on your quad, you need to use a high quality grease. I'm an Amsoil independent dealer. Um, you really should, I suggest you buying a high quality grease like what I'm using here for this video um, so you know that you're not going to have any problems here. So after we get our grease in there, take our glove off. We we're just going to put our bolt in and leave this puppy until it's ready to be installed. In next video, I'll go ahead and install the uh, whole rear end except for the carrier, the uh, differential. So, Okay, so there you go. Uh, the next video we will be doing, I will be putting the rear end uh, A-arm shocks and everything back together. And then there'll be another video of me uh, torquing the rear end uh, to spec. So, yeah, if you, uh, if you ever run into this, this is probably the only video on the internet to how to do this. And at least keep you going on the road if this is a problem when you take this apart. So, don't forget to check the, um, the Outlaw 525 playlist below. It's starting to get a little colder here, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be in the garage. And don't forget to uh, leave a thumbs up or a comment or uh, also don't forget to subscribe. And any purchases from the links below really help me out. This is keeping me going. Uh, I would really like to go uh, full-time YouTube, but it just, it just ain't happening uh, quick enough. So, yeah, stay tuned and uh, radiators are coming.